shout out to all the warriors who planned, orchestrated, and executed Operation Pineapple Express in Afghanistan. just good people from being tortured and executed by the Taliban and a special shout out to Asian Biden you fucking piece of shit motherfucker fuck you your dead son your other son all servants of Satan Fucking scumbags. Anyways, um, as far as I know, so far it uh, was one retired Navy SEAL, Navy SEAL Redman, badass motherfucker. I've seen an interview with him on Jocko Willink, in the Jocko podcast. Yeah, one of the other badasses is uh, Major uh, Green Beret Major Gant. Um, I don't, don't really have much to say. Say that I envy them. I'm here chilling in Los Angeles, worried about parking spaces, frappes, getting enough caramel in my frappes and macchiatos. You know, and, 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 and doing real, real uh, backbreaking work in an office, in an air conditioned room. Oh my goodness, my back, it hurts. Not. You know, man, it's easy for you to see me because you know you don't have a family, a wife, and kids, and this, you know, you don't know what hard work is. Fuck. I'm pretty sure they were. I'm guessing. I wasn't there. I'm guessing that even after they rescued the people, even, um, uh, what's that? That a radio host, uh, my boy Ted, what's his name? My fucking mute to English, what's his name? That old white guy. Anyways, he uh, was getting this private plane to um, board people to from Afghanistan to get them into Macedonia. And they Someone called, I believe, a senator from Macedonia to make sure that that doesn't happen. Glenn Beck, his name. And, um, it's, it's strange, man. You know, Biden is still, um, just like Newsom. Oh, well, you know, there, there are, are, are elected officials. These are, these are, um, elections. Fair and square. But, um, you know, we're, we're seeing the collapse of America. Um, you know, I've got a couple bucks in my, in my wallet. And a couple of dollars saved up. And right now, because of the lockdowns, I'm pretty much stuck in Los Angeles. Vaccine passports. Business is closed. Um, some of them shut down permanently. I think the, the good, the best, best, Estimate or 
the best estimate on the bright side is that only one out of three restaurants are permanently closed in America. And, you know, but at the same time, thinking, oh, well, that means that there'll be a vacuum. People are still hungry. People still want snacks. There's still one restaurant where um, someone that I know, uh, someone that I trust, have a lot of trust and have a lot of confidence in, and has um, superb cooking skills. And I only have two, two in my lifetime, two, supposedly a third, but their food was pretty good. Well, that's how good uh, this dude is, and well, I definitely would back him up if he was to pursue the, um, the food route. Which I don't mind starting as an investor slash dishwasher. The mission's worth it. Um, I, I guess it's cool that, um, you know, I'll be sweeping up properties, profits, customers, booty calls as I see all the, the dead corpses around me, the, the, all the blood in the streets from the dead corpses of businesses. And I find it pathetic, disturbing that, you know, this business is not essential so it can operate. But, um, we still have those, uh, <laughs> those Amazon workers uh, delivering your fucking PS5s, your makeup, your drugs, your dildos, your blow up dolls. Comic books. You know, shit that we just can't live without. Such is life. But then I think. You know, the one way that the. <laughs> I just thought, thought of this and realized this. The one way that the Marine Corps spoiled me was the abundance of men. Not just, I won't even say just males, but warriors that I met in there. And it's scarce that I meet um, warriors out here. It's funny because some of the words I do meet, they're just veterans. handful of people that are just purebred civilians that are getting after it. Such is life. What do you say, Nelly? I was part of Neo Team 6 and served at the the Gravy Wars and Clone Wars of KFC. Yeah, as far as uh, some of the details was that you know, these men, they did call it Operation Pineapple Express. These men um, 
I see some uh, interpreters that work with um, SF Special Forces and other Americans. And I got them out. Where even here, out in the civilian world, it's it's a challenge. They could say, "Hey, man, I could depend on that guy to show up at that time to um, read the notes, the plan, the layout, <laughs> and uh, execute properly and appropriately within time and get it done." And it's, it has gone to the point that I'm like, that. Ah, um, recently I had a fucking dumbass I did business with. And I'm like, dude. You're um, running a machine. You're not um, uh, lugging a howlets or fucking shit cannon over a fucking mountain. A mule in your bare hands, or yeah, man. But you see, man, this is it's real hard work. Hard, but yeah, seeing just all these warriors, and just fuck it, it, it really it does take away a lot of my momentum because it turns into. Uh, Everyone here wants to jog. Take it easy, boy. You gotta relax. Cause if you don't relax, you're gonna tear up your body. I'm thinking. Wait, are we uh, taking part of bouncing Betty's? The sniper that's known to be in the area. I get our IEDs along the freeway, bus routes, trains, every other plane that's um, flying off the. I'm at the fucking runway, it's booby trapped. No, man, but you see, man, you know, like last night, he had to work from. He stayed uh, two hours later, three hours later, and you know. I couldn't go to sleep because he had a lot, <laughs> had a lot of energy drinks. So much coffee, and like now, it's like, man, he's so tired. But I like working on this here. That I, I can already predict what's gonna be some of the action. Oh, oh, where are the other ninja turtles? Where are? Where are the other ninja turtles? I think I'm gonna react because my first reaction is, you motherfucker! See how fucking shit I, how many pieces I have in progress. Mm-mm-mm, that one chick, nice piece of ass. I don't know if that was her son or her little brother she came with. Yeah, okay. mm -mm -mm. But, um, damn, 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 damn. That's what she had out there. But she's been like, you know what? It's in progress, you know what? Um, I'm scratching it out. Come by the studio uh, anytime next week between these hours. If you and your uh, son or brother come along, draw with me. As long as you bring a lunch. Deal or no deal? I don't know why I 
kind of green that gold tone right there. I forgot what I saw recently. I think I saw a homeless man. Oh yeah, I remember now. A janitor and a person thing of fuck, you know, at least um I'm gonna scrub toilets today. Just my own and no, I do that as as often as I want my shitter to feel clean as I shit on it. But you know, these dudes are picking up shit because that's well that's what he's programmed himself to do and accept his fate in. Like, see, he's pushing out this uh, homeless man's cart with some recyclables in it. And I'm thinking, man, poor dude, man. You know. Trying to store the stuff there. Don't, uh, someone wants to sleep or go get breakfast. And I see the dude all raggedy, skinny, on his bicycle, you know. And his bicycle lamp. And uh, push, push along that car, drag that car along with him. And I thought, man, I'm a lucky cunt that I'm not a janitor or, or homeless right now. I could be. Um, I've been close to that position even recently. But I could say, man, oh my goodness, man, I got no sales, man. My sales are horrible. <sighs> Someone give me a, a dollar. I could say, you know what? Um, well, I got some money from past sales, so let's see. <laughs> let's see how I can maximize my living uh, with this uh, with these sixty-seven dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such is life. His butter died, but Oops, I'm gonna keep it to the last life bar, but still. Such a good thing, a pineapple express. Damn it. I wanted some of the action, god damn it. I'm gonna find how slow I am right now and out of shape. I could be like, is there a Starbucks around here? Can you take comfort at the 7 <laughs> Eleven or the uh, Whataburger? Fuck is wrong with you, motherfucker? Be back to the dance. To the dance. I'm guessing my um my phone probably thought um led me to like you're gonna kick me someone in the balls in me. Let me uh, let's amp that up. Recommend you get this piece of shit. Um lift. Get the first name. Super school superintendent of K Katie District or some shit. L I N D T. Uh bully. Piece of shit bully who just laughed at um and the young man who uh, confronted him. Piece of shit bottom. See the comment section. Like, yeah, well, I knew a cop that I knew someone who bullied me and how he's a cop. And he should have warned people. I knew, uh, I know this one piece of shit who's a cop. 
And I've also seen another piece of shit that's real fucking mentally disturbed fuck in high school. Fucking just I'll say that I I um hung out with a bunch of kids. Alright, bye, what's up, fuck you asshole? Have a nice day. Class clown a bit. This one fucker, one uh as far as I need to know what I'm saying, yeah man, that guy's a real cool guy, it's a funny guy. We'll see. No one's uh no one should treat me as a class clown, he was just a clown. Yeah, that's cool if he was a game designer, a painter, a hermit, fucking me. That didn't have a, a fucking access to a gun on a daily basis while, while at work with public, with the public. But he does. But such is life. I know there are scumbags like that out there. Just other bully piece of shit motherfuckers that he was such a there were a lot of bullies in my junior high. <laughs> but at least our bullies sometimes they had a um a chill factor. You get an ass bit and then a chill factor, you get an ass bit and then a chill factor. This piece of shit is a Eventually became a cop, was just a fucking all around asshole. Even the fucking other boys were like, fucking murdered this motherfucker. Didn't like him. Had to stop hanging out with him. He's a big fucking strong ogre. Yeah, I can't think of anyone throughout the whole fucking school that liked him. Or got along with him. I think the nicest thing I've ever seen someone else do for him was, hey, uh, Take one sheet and pass it around. It's probably the most humane thing I've seen him do. Just a fucking piece of shit. Well, that's not nice saying what you say. You know, you know what? Um, you're concerned about my little poetic words. Remember, this fucker has a gun and a badge. He's out in the streets. And I've seen him more than once. Motherfucker. I could see the piece of shit in Coward in your fucking eyes. But such is life. Get after it, motherfuckers. Trump 2024. Hail Satan and his minion fucking um, Gavin Newsom. <laughs> well. Motivation Biden again. Shout out to all the Pine Pineapple Express warriors. Redmond, the Navy SEAL, Major Grant, Major Gant, Army Green Beret, retired.